Hi friends, today I'd like to share with you an amazing storybook from Word on Fire that features some awesome adventures. Let's go! Juice Box! <laughs> the Horse and St. Jose Sanchez del Rio Amidst the frenzy of the battlefield, a lone horse galloped furiously. Though his rider was only a boy of 14, the horse trusted him to guide them to safety through the chaos. All around, bullets were flying, smoke was billowing, and soldiers were stumbling around the bodies of the wounded and fallen. The rider held aloft a flag. It was green, white, and red, the colors of his country, Mexico. On the flag was an image of Mary as Our Lady of Guadalupe, and the words, Viva Cristo Rey, Long Live Christ the King. The horse looked ahead and saw another horse, but that one would run no more. The fallen horse had been struck by an enemy's shot, and his rider was now on foot, calling orders to the panicked troops, but they were scattering fast and the enemy was closing in. The boy spurred his mount towards the unhorsed rider. He called down, my general. The general looked up at his young flag bearer and continued, take my horse and save yourself. You are more needed for this cause than I. The general reluctantly agreed, the rider leapt down and the horse whinnied in confusion. The boy gave his horse a last pat. Do not worry about me, my faithful friend. Get the general to safety. Mounted on the boy's horse, the general galloped away from the losing battle, escaping capture so that he could fight another day. The boy who had given up his horse fought valiantly but was taken prisoner by the opposing army. That rider was Jose Sanchez del Rio. Jose's older brothers, Macario and Miguel, joined the Catholic rebel soldiers known as the Cristeros. But their mother did not want Jose to fight. After all, he was only 12 years old at the time. He pleaded with her, saying, Mama, do not let me lose the opportunity to gain heaven so easily and so soon. His mother relented but the Cristero general was also resistant to bring one so young into battle. Eventually, the general allowed Jose to be his flag bearer. And that is how, two years later, Jose came to be carrying a flag and riding a horse into a losing battle. Jose gave up his horse to serve the general. He would give up his life to serve Christ the King. The government's troops imprisoned Jose in a makeshift cell at the local church they had seized. In fact, it was the very church where Jose had been baptized as a baby, the Church of St. James the Apostle in Sajuayo, Mexico. His captors ordered him to renounce his faith in Christ, but he refused. He remembered what his baptism meant. Without receiving a real trial, Jose was sentenced to death. One of his aunts smuggled him Holy Communion while he was waiting for his execution. The soldiers tortured their young prisoner and forced him to walk to his place of martyrdom on wounded feet. But their cruelty could not defeat the young man's courage. All the way, he prayed the rosary and called out his battle cry of faith. Viva Cristo Rey y Santa Maria de Guadalupe. Long live Christ the King and Holy Mary of Guadalupe. You could read more about those saints and others in Saintly Creatures, 14 Tales of Animals and Their Holy Companions. Well, until next time, friends. Bye! Deuce back.